Okay, so um, let's look at this question here. They are saying uh, determine the empirical formula if a compound is 12.14% carbon, 16.17% uh, oxygen, and 71.69% uh, chlorine by mass. Okay, so the question is. Uh, we determine first of all the empirical formula and then here they are continuing the same what is the molecular formula okay if its molar mass is 98.9 grams per watt per mole so we are going to use this information to find the what the empirical formula so remember what i said you first put your what element okay so what are the element have we been given here we've been given carbon so you put them in the order that you've been given. So carbon, and then oxygen, and then we have the what? The chlorine there. Okay, so the chlorine is Ca. Okay, and then after writing the element, you are going to write the mass or the percent. Okay, so the percentage that we've been given here is this one is 12.14. And then this oxygen is 16.17. And then the chlorine there is 71.69. Okay, so the next thing is to find the moles. So how do we find these moles? We are going to divide these percentage masses by the molar mass of these compounds. Okay, so the molar mass of uh, carbon is what? It's just 12. Uh, it's 0 0.01. Okay, so we are going to say 12.14 divided by 12.01. And then here to be 16.17. We divide this by the molar mass of oxygen, which is 16. And then this is chlorine, so we have 71.69 divided by, okay. What's the molar mass of chlorine? So it's approximately 35.45. So you check the periodic table. So from this, it means we are going to get our moles, right? So let's divide. So if I divide this on my calculator, what am I getting? Okay, so when I divide this, I'm getting 1.0108. Let me divide this. According to my calculator, I'm getting 1.0106. Then when I divide this, I'm getting 2.02. .02. Okay, so you ask yourself now, between these three, which one is the what? The smallest. Okay, so we see that this guy here is the smallest. Okay, because this one has eight at the end, this one has six. So that one is the smallest. So we are going to divide all these moles by that smallest number. So we are going to say ratio that we are going to use in our empirical formula is just equals to 1.0108. We divide this by 1.0106. The 1.1 1 .1, uh, 0106, we divide it by the same value. Then here we have 2.02, .02, we divide it by 1.0106. .01 so just get your calculators and then find the answers there. Okay, so when I divide this, I'm getting 1 here. It's even here, I'm getting 1. And then here, I'm getting 1.99. Eight. Okay, so this point 0.9 is greater than point 0.8. So we can round off this. Okay, so we can round off that to 2. So we're going to say that there is just simply what? 2. Okay, so it means these are our ratios that we are going to use in our what? Empirical formula. Okay, so to write our empirical formula now, we are going to write this. So let me create some space on top here. Okay, so to write the empirical formula now, we are going to say our first element was C and it has 1 as its ratio here. Then we had oxygen, it had 1 again. And then we had chlorine here, it had what? 2. So this guy here that I've written, okay, is our what? Empirical formula. Okay, so any questions there, guys? Any questions on how we are ending up with the empirical formula?
okay so uh, that's how we find the empirical formula and then the next part now they're saying what is the molecular formula if its molar mass is 98.9 grams per mole okay so what are we going to do in order to find the molecular formula remember we need the factor okay so this is our empirical formula let's write it somewhere okay so let's clean up this board of ours okay so remember we have the empirical formula being given by c o c l 2 so we can add this to find the molar mass of this empirical formula okay so you add 12.01 plus 16 plus 2 multiplied by um, 35.45 okay so what do you get as your molar mass for the empirical uh, formula okay what do you get as your molar mass for for the empirical formula okay so when i add this i'm getting 98.91 grams per mole as my empirical molar mass okay and then remember we've been given the molar mass of the molecular formula in the equation in the equation there so molar mass for the molecular formula is just given as 98.9 grams per mole okay so our factor or our subscript we find it by what by dividing the mass of the molecular formula which is 98.9 divided by the mass of the empirical formula okay so this will be 98.19 like that so when i divide this i'm getting 0 0.9999 okay so we can round off this to one so it means our factor is just one okay so it means our molecular formula will just be equals to okay the empirical formula multiplied by the subscript one so this is going to be equals to the empirical formula is just C O C L two and then I'm multiplying by one. So one multiplied by this is just going to remain the same thing. So it will be C O C L two. Okay. So we see that in this case the empirical formula is the same as the molecular formula. Okay. So that's how we find the molecular formula there. So that's it for this question here.